Hello and welcome to Replay Retro. I'm Matt and today we're coming from Leeds Town Hall, the home of the Retro Collect video game market. So let's take a look inside and have a look at some of the setup. So while everyone's setting up, I thought I'd grab a few minutes with the Console Passion guys, who are the event's main sponsors, to find out just what it is about this kind of event that they feel so strongly about needing to support. Um, well, we were supposed to be here last year, but unfortunately I got ill. Um, so when we heard they were doing another one, um, I spoke to Adam and he said there is a sponsorship uh, deal available, uh, which I jumped at. Uh, speaking to some of the people that came last year, they said it was fantastic. I know some of the guys that worked with uh, me and Replay, they said they had a really, really good show. And it's the sort of thing, you know, we've, as Cops of Fashion, we've always liked to get behind and support, um, not just because we can sell stuff and make some money, but, you know, like to kind of support the scene. And we love what Retro Collect do, um, both for Console Passion and with Replay, so... Yeah. Happy to Excellent. Be proud to be here. Proud to support. Excellent, because of course you guys are uh, also key players in the Play Expo. Um, yes. In the past. I'm one of the directors of Replay as well. So the Brilliant. Of that. So it is great to see big Sorry. events like this getting bigger and bigger as this community grows. And obviously companies like yourself are great in helping people start their collections. As you can see around, there is a fantastic selection available here. There's no way I can get it all in one shot. But as soon as the crowds descend on it very, very soon, we'll be sure to get a good shot of their reactions. Like, like locusts. Thanks for your time anyway. Cheers. Bye. Okay, so we're here with Gear for Games now, who have finished setting up while everyone else is still getting there, uh, waiting for the crowds that are building up outside. And I just thought I'd ask while you've got a few minutes, um, what do you think is the best thing you've got to offer people on here and what price can they get it for? Well, my favourite item at the moment, which I don't really want to sell, but uh, so if somebody gets this, they'll get a really good thing. It's, the, it's a Neo Geo MVS board. Okay, so that's the uh, the arcade version of the AES hardware, but consoleized for use in the home. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's got uh, individual red, green, blue outputs, stereo outputs, all variable. It's also got the universal BIOS, which runs just every single game on the MBS. Yeah, so that makes it easier for yeah. people. I know that's the most up-to-date version yeah. I think I've seen about. And the yeah. board is so clean. That is a really good refurbishment. And... At £125, that looks like a real bargain to me that may take some beating here today. Uh, maybe you picked this up, maybe someone else did, maybe no one has. Uh, in that case, if you want it, get yourself to gearforgames.co.uk and see if you can get a bargain from these guys. I'm here now with Paints and Power Ups to talk about how they do some of their awesome customised console art. So, um, just talk us through the uh, process behind one of your favourite pieces. Okay, so what we essentially do is, say, the Sonic Mega Drive here, we strip it down, we thoroughly clean the inside so it pretty much works like new, um, then we'll spray paint it, paint, um, you know, the paint markers and brushes and stuff for the controller and the shell. Spray varnish it so it's nice and shiny and keeps all the detail, doesn't get damaged. And then it's ready to play and they're ready to be used in all of your games rooms. Okay, that's brilliant. So you do an internal makeover as well as external. Because I know a lot of uh, customising places just do the outside. And then obviously the console has years of wear. Yeah. Um, but obviously yours are nicely done inside as well. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's, that's awesome. Um, so how much does a fully customised and very cool uh, Sonic Mega Drive go for? This would be about 120 in this condition oh. with, with a controller and of course the 
Sonic game, you'll need to play it. That's quite cool to include the actual Sonic <laughs> game. And in fairness, for the amount of work that it looks like went into that, I think 120 is a very fair price. So um, if anyone wants to get hold of your stuff, uh, where can they go to get hold of it? The best place right now is Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash paints and power ups. We will have a Twitter, which will be paints and power ups. And Etsy, we have a store on there as well, so you can check us out. Okay, that's absolutely brilliant. So uh, be sure to check out Paints and Power Ups and their frankly stunning artwork and uh, keep an eye out for them in future. I'm sure this is going to be pretty big. Cheers, thank you. Balancing a camera. I love. <laughs> Now I'm here with Cave of Pixels and their amazing pixel bead artwork, which we've all seen pixel bead artwork before, but when you look at these brilliant framed ones and the scale of some of these, I think it really takes it to the next level. Um, what kind of work goes into producing, well, any of these really? Well, it varies. It, it depends on, on the size of the sprite or the detail of the pixels. Say, for instance, uh, this one here, Probably took about 10 hours uh, just doing it by eye, converting the, the sprite pixels into the bead colours um, and a bit of trial and error. So That's brilliant. And uh, if the camera can't quite pick it up, considering that's 10 hours work, the price at literally just £50 is fantastic. Um, obviously, for those people who aren't intelligent enough to have come here today to get your stuff, um, where can they go if they want to pick it up online? Well, uh, there's a couple of websites. Got my website, Cave of Pixels, which has uh, it's basically a gallery of all my work, um, and there's various ways to contact me through there. Or there's Turn of Fine Arts, who represent me. I've got some work up in their gallery in Birmingham. So, okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, good luck selling today. I hope you do really well. Great. Thank I've you. heard the queues outside are really starting to build up now, so we'll go outside and we'll take a look and see what's going on. Hey guys, how long have you all been queuing for? Since half eight. That's incredible. And what are you hoping to pick up today? Anything for a particular system or some artwork? What's going on? Uh, I've got a modded Saturn reserved already. And, uh, You're picking up a modded Saturn? And so you've reserved it and turned up early. Yeah, that right there is dedication. And a custom Dreamcast. And a custom Dreamcast. Hope you enjoy them. Brilliant. What, are you hoping to pick anything up in particular? Not in particular, no. Just, no, just uh, having a wonder. Yeah. Yeah. SNES games. SNES, SNES games. <laughs> Good luck, guys. I hope you find everything you're after. Sorry, guys. So as you can see, the queue is now going all the way down the steps. All the way around the corner. And it keeps going, and going, and going, and going a little bit more. Let's uh, let's drop in and here, because you look really nervous like you don't want to be on the camera. How long have you guys been queuing for? Uh, about half an hour. About half an hour, it's yeah. not too bad. Not Is there uh, anything in particular hoping to pick up today? Uh, Japanese N64, hopefully. There's loads, absolutely Excellent. loads. You're not going to struggle. Okay, guys. You look like you're enjoying a sandwich. I should interrupt you. Yeah, go on then. What are you hoping to pick up? You've already got a Dreamcast keyboard. That's interesting considering it's closed, but I'll take that. Um, I've got a list. You've got a shopping list? I've Let's take a look at your shopping list. This is the best written shopping list. Can I just get that yeah. to the camera? This is the greatest written shopping list of all time. Colour War Hogs. I think I've seen Hogs of War in there today, and there's a few bits of Engage stuff. Um, so yeah, you should be in luck. It is. Good times. Let's keep going, find the end of the queue in a weird Keith Chegwin kind of style. That just made you camera bait. How long have you been queuing for? A few minutes. Just a few minutes, brilliant, you just turned up. And is there anything in particular you're looking for? Um, probably just little accessories to put around the room, just to show how much I love yeah, gaming. Yeah, like some pixel bead art and stuff. Yeah, Go see Cave of Pixels, they've got some fantastic stuff and you're going to love it. I'll be broke by the end of the day! 
I actually thought we would have reached the end of the queue by now. It's actually still going on. I'm really shocked. Let's go all the way back. <laughs> Around. Because you stared at me, I kind of have to talk to you That's now. That's fine. I love making eye contact. <laughs> Yeah. Clearly so. Yeah, no. um, is there anything in particular you're after today? Yeah, man, loads of Pokemon games. Loads of Pokemon stuff. There's in tons games, in there. Stuff. There's Pokemon artwork. I've got some stuff to sell as well. All right. Uh, there's also some great customised Game Boys in there today. Oh, yeah. Uh, with all different colours of backlights, new buttons, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, man, all right. I like it. Good luck. So, as you can see, the queue is absolutely massive and there are still plenty of people turning up. Um, so, it looks like this year's uh, video game market is set to be even bigger than last year's. Um, those of you that couldn't make it, make sure you get along next year. Keep your eye on the Retro Collect forums for more information. Okay, so I'm here with Paul from Paul's Custom Arcade Machines and he's going to talk us through the process and what's inside uh, one of his fantastic, really high quality looking, uh, I assume MAME based machines, or not, which I'm about to be corrected on. Well, unfortunately you are incorrect there because uh, these are actual jammer uh, machines. Ah, right. Yeah, jammer multiboards. Yes, jammer multiboards, that's it. They have 619 in one. And uh, basically, it's just a small arcade machine. Uh, all the components uh, are all there to the specification of, of the arcades that you know and love. So hopefully, I bring you know that kind of sense of uh, nostalgia back to uh, some people who are you know obviously uh, of a certain age. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of people um, that think that in order to have like either a jammy uh, jam hut multi board or uh, a main machine you have to go full size or you have to go for a big cocktail machine that takes up a lot of space but obviously these guys really don't take up much space i mean three of them stacked on top of each other still wouldn't be the same height as one of us and that's definitely a big advantage well one 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 of the one of the things that one of the thinking behind it the logic is that the the wife friendly Yes. aspect definitely so, wife friendly picked up put into a wardrobe and get out for special occasions when it's just the lads or yeah. you know or when you want to prove that you're in control of the furnishings in any way shape or form exactly yes. all right excellent so if people want to get hold of one of your machines where should they go uh, just go to facebook and look for uh, paul's custom cabs uh, i'll be on there and uh, just message me from there and uh, you can you can easily just pick one up quite easily yeah. okay that's brilliant thanks for your time uh, be sure to check out paul's facebook page and have a look at some of his fantastic machines the doors have now opened and the crowds that we just saw have started making their way in so welcome everyone to the retro collect video game market 2015 I'm here with Adam Buchanan of Retro Collect, the man who is responsible for the majesty that you see before us, Adam's own retro gaming market empire. Um, this is obviously the second time you've done this event, with the big difference this time being the space. Did you ever imagine when you did the first one that this? No, not at all. I mean, we based the original one on another little um, kind of fair that was going on in the town hall. and we thought okay a few hundred people might turn up you know people like video games they might show uh, no we underestimated everything and as a result this year we've had to pretty much spread out to every single place possible as you can see so more space for the aisleways more games more traders everything more 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 it's the best way yeah. to do it 
And the brilliant thing about that is it is still jam-packed out there. I mean, you can only see the main room now, uh, but there are other areas, there are other corridors, little pockets hidden off absolutely everywhere that are heaving with bodies. Um, and I suppose, realistically, Retro Collect generally is the reason for this. It's You've managed to build something that has really brought people together and made a hobby that was quite scattered groups. You've given them kind of a central hub. To go, and that must be quite an awesome feeling when you see those people that are only here because of that logo. Yeah, um, it's a tough one. I, I don't want to take full credit for it because obviously as people get older they definitely get nostalgic for the games and stuff and come back to them. But it is nice knowing we've kind of created a hub for people and kind of can you know, put people in somewhere that can kind of mingle with the other collectors and stuff. But I don't know, maybe this is successful due to that. Maybe it's just word of mouth. People want old games, fed up with cabooters. I have no idea. A little bit of all of them, I'm guessing. So what's the future then for the video game market and retro collect events in general? Well, um, we need to gauge basically how well today goes. If it's big enough, if it's too small, whatever happens really. And take it from there. Um, I mean, we'd love to fill a huge event hall full of all this stuff if possible, but we need to kind of have a think about everything. And as for the website, well, we've got a new version of the website coming soon with some more snazzy features, so keep an eye on that. That'll be at some point in the near future, but I'm not giving you a date. Um, and yeah, just enjoy. Excellent. Uh, well, obviously, thanks for joining us and, uh, and thanks for putting this on. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about if it's a success. It definitely is. There are people that can't move. The, the balloon that we noticed a little while ago over there has only managed to move a couple of metres uh, in the time that we've been up here. Well, it's nice someone spending the birthday here, at least. Yeah, definitely. So and they get some presents for Hopefully they will. And they've got lots of places to choose from. I mean, you've got big shops like Forbidden Planet are down there. You have a lot of internet retailers, but you also have a lot of the smaller collectors just clearing some, some space where they've bought better versions of stuff. So it's great that, you know, this is here and that hub is there. Um, so yeah, big thanks for putting it on, Adam, and thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget, if you're not already part of Retro Collect, you definitely need to be. It is the community website for retro gaming. So get there, get yourself around, get yourself known, and uh, be part of the community. So I'm here with the Vintage Computer Club who want to talk to us about their what looks like an epic wall-mounted main prototype. Uh, so, tell us all about it. Okay, well basically what I wanted was a full size stand-up cabinet, but I haven't got room to place it in, in the house. So, you know, I've got the man cave, but it's just not big enough to have a full size cabinet. So I thought, rather than the bar top ones, I wanted one that I could stand up and play like I, like I used to when I was a child and play the games I used to play as I was a child. So this is what I've had built. It's, it had to look good because it was going in the house, otherwise the missus was gonna lynch me. <laughs> so we've gone for this. We've had some excellent designers design it for us. We love it. It's lightweight, fits on the wall, top quality components all inside it. So it's full arcade, proper switches, proper joysticks, good high quality screen, and the sound as well has got to be epic, just like the yeah. big deep bass of the arcade machines. It really is an astonishingly good looking piece of hardware. And actually I didn't quite realize what it was uh, walking past it at yeah. first. Um, there seems to be a bit of a recurring theme with people's missuses killing them for their <laughs> games rooms and their yeah. arcade gear. Um, but this really could actually be the solution. I mean. It's a fantastic piece of kit. Um, if people want to find out more about this project or pick it up maybe, what do they need to do? They can get in touch with me on Twitter at, at Old Computer Club. Our website is vintagecomputerclub.org.uk or we've got cards here. If they, if they happen to be here, obviously, they can pop along and have a chat with us and even maybe, maybe have a play on it. All right, that's absolutely brilliant. I genuinely wish you all the best of luck with this project. Uh, I really hope it succeeds. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastically good-looking piece of kit. Um, yeah, brilliant. Thank you.
Well, that's it. The video game market is over for another year. And it just remains for me to thank everyone involved for making this event so fantastic. So I'd like to start by thanking the Retro Collect team. After all, it is the Retro Collect video game market. Thank you guys for putting your name to this and giving it that drive forward that's helped make it such a success. Also, a big thanks to Steve Smith, who personally put a lot of his time and energy into organising the first video game market and this much bigger event. You've put a lot of effort in, and I know that you won't take as much of the credit as you deserve, but I'm sure that the retro gaming community that attended, and a lot of the guys from Retro Collect, will agree with me in giving you a big thanks and a lot of good wishes for your future events that you have planned, including, I hope, the Video Game Market 3. I'd also like to thank all the sellers. There was a lot of you guys there selling a wide range of products at a wide range of prices, all well within decent, valid prices for people to pay. And you guys brought some fantastic stuff from the arcade machines all the way down to loose cassette games. All of it matters. There were some business sellers there, including Console Passion, who also sponsored the event. Thank you for that. It's a brave decision when you're in a market that's surrounded by other sellers. And there were also some personal sellers there. A few collectors trying to sell off bits of their collection that they've maybe got doubles of. And a few individual artists trying to sell off their own work. All of you made the event a very, very special environment to be in indeed. And I'd especially like to thank those of you that took time out of your busy day to allow yourselves to be interviewed quite poorly by me for a pokey YouTube channel. Your support is brilliant and I hope that in some way I'm also able to give something back to you by drawing a few customers to you. Um, and that just remains for me to thank one last group of people who are probably the most important in this event. And that is you guys who attended. Because if no one attends these events then they're not viable. So thank you to everyone who queued. Some people queued for hours, so thank you to everyone who queued out there. I'm sure the Retro Collect guys appreciate that effort that you went to. You came from all over the country to be here, and that is really brilliant. Um, so thank you for your attendance. And of course, thank you all of you for watching this video, clicking the like button, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon with another video.